All right, what is going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? The ACMJ's gamer here. Today we're here to talk about Assassin's Creed Mirage. There are some concerns that a lot of people have, like Mirage is reusing Valhalla's or some of Valhalla's uh, assets and animations. I personally don't have an issue with it. That's a good thing. That means that the dev team were did something new in Assassin's Creed, which was they took something from the previous game and they kind of added it and or not added but kept it in their game so that way they didn't have to make a bunch of different assets from from the ground up which saved them i'm sure a lot of time um and it, it's very interesting because i believe this is probably one of the first times that they've actually done that because in years prior it always seemed like there were missing mechanics that were really good that could have fit somewhere but because they had scrapped the entire thing and built built it in from new some mechanics either they just didn't have the time for or um, they didn't feel like it should be in there. And it's like, if they didn't have the time for it, why did they scrap the mechanics? So in this case, uh, they said that they had taken out and that they actually added in some new animations, but it does look like a little bit like Valhalla, which I don't have a problem with. Um, if you, anybody knows me, if you've been watching the channel for a while, my main problem with Valhalla was the combat and the story, but mainly well, both, but the combat, I didn't like Odyssey because of the, you can unlock a whole skill tree and then you have to slot in the skill into whatever controller D-pad point you wanted. I didn't like that. I preferred the origin system where um, every skill was more passive than it was active. Um, so I prefer the passive skills. There is a skill tree system in this game. There are three of them. Um, I think it's Predator, Trickster, and there's a third that I'm missing. Um, but despite that, I think the assets are going to be okay. They said that they increased the agility of Bassem. Um, so, I mean, we can kind of see that here. I still wouldn't pre-order. I said I would pre-order once I saw some gameplay. This was a trailer. This was an actual. What I meant by that was a demo that shows me that at least the way the skill tree system works is not how it was in Odyssey or Valhalla. And if I see that, I'll be fine. Because Valhalla was also half of Origins combat. Um, and if it's mainly just Origins combat with the Valhalla hitbox system... And we also get all these tools and things that they're showing us. I will be fine with this. However, I would highly, strongly recommend waiting for a demo. If what I think is going to happen, there will either be a 10-minute demo during the UB Forward event, or there will be a post-show. And if there is a post-show, it'll be probably a 20 to 30-minute straight raw gameplay demo of Mirage. And if I'm happy with what I see in that demo... I will pre-order, but I would strongly wait until then, at least. So that's me addressing the concerns of the animation style. I think it's fine. Don't pre-order just yet. Um, next month, just a couple of weeks, we'll get a full demo. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.